so hey guys welcome back once again and in today's video i'm just gonna talk about one of the interesting extension that you can go and have fun with first of all let me tell you guys i think so this is a very important extension and i don't know if it was earlier on because this extension is totally based on in paint okay in paint and in paint sketch so let me tell you what the extension is the extension is canvas zoom you can see you can go on the available menu and just load from over here it is directly available over here and just click on to install if you find canvas zoom over here and after clicking on to install it will automatically install the canvas zoom and yes after installing just apply and restart ui so it will basically install and let me tell you what it is so this is a very important extension uh, in which you can go and zoom around with you move your canvas you can scale your canvas you can change brush size you can reset zoom as well let me tell you what it is in in paint section look at this guys now you can zoom in as well you can increase the brush size directly from the mouse as well so that's it you can do and if you press r it will reset it to the original size and if you want to move this uh, image just like this you can move it as well so basically it's an very interesting extension that you can go and have fun around with actually guys let me be fair i don't know much about in paint because i never tried in painting and this is my first ever time that i am trying to learn in paint from past couple of days so let's get started and let me tell you it's already shown on the tab over here if you want this then you can go on to extension menu let me tell you go on to extension menu on canvas zoom you can click on this link so it will open the link so there are hotkeys already given one over here shift plus wheel hold will move canvas shift plus wheel will scale canvas control plus wheel will change brush size or reset zoom so there are couple of important things just like this let me tell you now so now here if you want to zoom image just like this if you want to zoom in so just hold shift key and use your mouse scroll button the scroll button in order to zoom in and zoom out of the image so that's how you can zoom it and zoom out as well and if you want to reset directly this image see this we have zoomed in right so if you want to reset this image and just press r button if you press r button it will totally reset so that's how you can do it and if you have zoomed in already let's see if we have already zoomed in and i want to move this image so what i will do is that i will i will press shift i will press the mouse scroll button the mouse scroll button that you know right and you need to hold both of the button shift plus mouse scroll hold button so that's how you can move it as well and that's the thing that if you want to do so if you want to resize this brush size as this brush size is very large so if you want to resize is then just press control button and by pressing control button you can scroll your mouse scroll button up or down in order to increase the size or decrease the size of the brush so that's how you do it and yes i think so that's very interesting extension that you can go and mess around with and now let's go and try to mess around with this image what we will do we will try to convert it into like a steampunk style let's go and what if i want to like see this over here i want to like decrease the brush size so what i will do i will press control button and scroll down see this is how you do it and now let's go so that's how you do it pretty interesting extension that you can go and mess around with let's paint the outer now we will increase the size and now let's do it uh pretty interesting right so now guys the masking is done and i want to resize this right so just press the r button so that's how you can resize it and that's all you can do and what we will do is that we will try to convert it into steampunk frog body mecha style and hyper details as you can see guys i was already working on to earlier image and it was pretty interesting pretty detailed and pretty like you can go and mess around with very detailed masking as well with this extension so now let's go and let's try to generate we will generate we are going with fill only mask content over here and 0.8 denoising strength that's the only thing we are doing and now let's try to generate and let's see what result do we get i think so we got four results so yeah this is the result that i got pretty interesting result i think so yes this is pretty interesting and what i will do is now we will just send it to impending and the next thing we will try to impend the body as well just hold shift key and scroll your mouse button so it will zoom in your image and we will try to paint the body part you can go and mess around with the brush size as well i am just doing it like a random if you want to do it an exact you can go and resize your brush size and get an exact value as well so just like this so that's all we are going to do and now let's see what result do we get let's reset this and we have pressed r button and this is the thing we are doing now let's see what result do we get now
so now guys here again we got the result let's see what result do we got i think so uh, this is also changed here as well let's see see this part is also changed i don't know what why it has done like that but yeah this result is pretty amazing this result as well i think so this result is pretty amazing and let's go and send it to impent once again and what we will do now is that we will try to mess around with the face as well so let's first of all reset all of this thing i know what it was why it did like that so we will reset all all of the mask and we will try to zoom let's zoom it once again by holding the shift button and now i want to mask the face right so what i will do i will hold the shift button once again and hold the mouse button i hold the mouse button and like this see i'm just panning it over here so that's it i got and after clicking on to like uh, mouse scroll button you will get this mask as well so just control z over here in order to undo so now what we will do we will try to mask the face as well okay so here we are ready with our mask guys and let's see what result do we get now we will only go with let's go with steampunk frog face so that's all we are going and now let's generate and let's see what result do we get okay guys so here we are with our result and these are the result that i got pretty interesting i think so this result is pretty detailed result as well there are some glitches with this extension but yeah don't worry with that i think so this is enough you can definitely see this is a detailed face over here as well and i just like like this face as well it's totally like it is covered with the steampunk uh, armor so that's the result that i got and it's pretty interesting result right let's send it to impend to impend and that's the final result we will go with and that's how i just wanted to talk about this extension isn't it pretty interesting extension that you can go and mess around with once again i will show which extension this is canva zoom extension and in this you can just click on to the link i have already opened the link over here and you can definitely see and definitely you can see how you can go and work around with different different hotkeys as well so that's the only thing that i wanted to talk about with this extension and yes definitely a much needed extension as well so that's it guys and i hope so guys you guys loved it and yeah i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys